Now, in Business Tuesday interview segment, I managed to host the country manager of Sinapis with Sylvia Kananu. Now, Sinapis is an organization that supports entrepreneurs with scalable business ideas. Here is the interview. Welcome to the second segment of Business Tuesday. Now, joining me now is Sylvia Kananu, who is the country manager of Sinapis. Sinapis is an organization that seeks to empower young entrepreneurs who are aspiring and have scalable business ideas. And Sylvia is here to tell us more about the organization. Sylvia, welcome to the program. Thank you, Eddie. Now, tell us about Sinapis. What is the name Sinapis, first of all? Well, Sinapis, many people do ask this question. So, Sinapis is the Latin word for master team. So, why do you call ourselves a master team, right? So our name, the inspiration for our name comes from the parable in the Bible where Jesus talks about the kingdom of God being like a mustard seed where um, what starts out as something so small becomes a very huge tree where you see even the birds build their nest in it. So similar, our program takes entrepreneurs, even though you may think as an entrepreneur your idea is very small or your business is not that great, we take you, we mentor you, provide you with the right training, access to capital, and at the end of the day we believe that your businesses are going to grow and you'll be able to provide um, jobs for your community and economic development for the country as well. Now that your name comes from the Bible itself, uh -huh. should that mean that you're also like a Christian organization or Christian centered or something like that? Yes, we are a Christian centered organization. So one of the things we do besides training entrepreneurs is also training them on Christian principles of running a business. The reason this is very key to us is because in Kenya, you know one of the biggest challenges we face is that of corruption. And we believe if we can educate entrepreneurs that it is possible for you to run an ethical business, a Christian business, without necessarily having to engage in things like you know, bribery, corruption to succeed. If we believe if we can give them that confidence to believe that they can actually have a successful business without uh, having to engage in corruption, then we can change the way business is done in Kenya. Wow, that would be a tall order, eh? given the rate of corruption in our country. Yes, it's no small task. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now, Synapse, as you say, you're, you're taking small business ideas that are scalable and empowering them about it. How do you run your program? Well, so our business program is four months long. And so what happens is we cover five key areas. One of them is kingdom business, which is about how do I apply these Christian principles practically in my business. Then we have the hardcore business areas of sales and marketing, finance, human resources, and operations. So what we do for four months, uh, we usually have the program for 16 weeks, which translates to four months. Yeah, that's four months. Yeah. And so what you do is we take them through the course. It's just one day a week every Saturday or an evening option for six hours a week. So it's like uh, once a week? For yeah, it's once a week for time. six hours or if it's an evening class twice a week for three hours each yeah so that comes to still six hours so it's like imagine and if you're picking up okay. action uh, uh rolling and action now silver since you're running uh in an mba program for only four months mm -hmm. isn't that rigorous Oh yes, it's quite intense. In fact, um, the consistent feedback we get from our entrepreneurs is the program is very intense. However, one thing uh, we always notice, they say it has really transformed their business. And the reason is it's very practical. Um, I'm sure you notice one of the things that uh, I would say a bit of a challenge with our education system in Kenya is that a lot of the content tends to be quite theoretical. Yes, you learn one thing, but applying it in your life or in your business is something yeah, else. You find that it's not related to the exactly what's right. Going on in the industry. So yeah. this w the content now that we have is so practical, such that at the end of every class, you can go apply it in your business and start seeing changes. If we are going to teach you about market research, we tell you go talk to twenty of your customers, ask them these questions, see what the result is. So they're able to be able to take you know little bits of whatever they learn, apply it in their business, and that's now where the transformation process begins. Okay. Mm. So now. Where does this program run from? All right, so we ourselves are based, uh, we are in, based in Nairobi, we are a corporate suit, so we do have a training facility there, but we've partnered with other organizations, especially lots of churches across um, Nairobi and Mombasa as well. And so what we do is that we have, um, <coughs> sorry, periodic intakes where we have like this month, we have, a, for example, we're in February, we're just about to head into February, we have an, an, a launch that will be happening at Karura Community Chapel, that is along Limuru Road. Next, the, a few weeks later, we'll have one at Nairobi Baptist, which is along Gong Road. Mm -hmm. So we have them in strategic places across the city to make sure everybody is able to access the information. So when is mm -hmm. like the next class? When are you launching the next class? The next class is going to be launching on February 10th, and that's going to be at Karura Community Chapel, which right. is... That's soon enough. Yeah, right? that's quite soon, right? Mm -hmm. 
right yeah so um we do one uh, we do one new class about every month or every two months yeah. since many young people today want to be entrepreneurs mm -hmm. so who is the target are you targeting only the youth or what category what age bracket maybe? well um i would say we don't really have an age bracket what we look at is the credibility of your idea or your business for that market uh, for that matter sorry so if you have an idea that you know we can see this has high potential then we are likely to take you in actually car, um, the criteria for joining the program you must have at the very minimum a business idea or a running business it must be an idea that you can see has high potential for growth is scalable and you must be a you know east african citizen as well and some va some level of um high education um tertiary education or you have significant business experience too much the reason being is that this is 10 to be MBA content and um, it's usually best understood by somebody who's already experienced some form of tertiary education. So that's the criteria we look at. Most of our entrepreneurs tend to be people aged between 25 going to 35, even 40. But that's where I would say the average group lies around age-wise. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so far since we run the program, mm -hmm. is there like an imbalance whereby you find one gender dominates coming more? Interestingly, the they're very close. This is one of the metrics that we measure and I yeah. think it's about... 49%, uh, wow. 51%. So it's so a near match. It's yeah. Almost, yeah, it's almost equal. So in this area, we see that, wow, uh, you know, males and females, everybody's interested in entrepreneurship, gender, irrespective of gender. Okay. Yes. So now uh, that is Sylvia Kananu, the mm -hmm. country manager of Synapis. And now uh, we take a short break. We'll be right back. And when we return, Sylvia will be telling us about one of the success stories that they have produced at Synapis. Welcome back to the program. This is Business Tuesday and my name is Eddie Nyadwa. With me is Sylvia Kanan who is the country manager of Synapis. Now Synapis is an organization that supports aspiring entrepreneurs who have scalable business ideas. She's here to tell us more about it. Now Sylvia, before we went to the break, we were talking about how the program runs. It's a formal program. Now in this program that we've already been running in the country, is there any success story so far? Oh yeah, we do have plenty of success stories. Um, I think my favorite would probably be of Franco Mundi. So um, to give you some info about that. So Franco Mundi is an entrepreneur. So he runs a manufacturing company that deals with um, exporting nuts. Uh, so he exports nuts to overseas markets like America, Europe and the like. Ooh, so which nuts is it? These are macadamia nuts. Macadamia yeah, macadamia nuts. nuts. Wow. Yes. So they are based um, all the way in Kitangela, that side of uh, town. And so um, he, he, he exports to big clients including Hershey's, if you may have heard of them. They are one of the biggest chocolate you know, confectionery companies in, in the world actually, yes. Wow. Mm, so he also he has like he's done. You remember the story of the mustard tree where the mustard seed where you talk yeah. about growth. growth. He has like I think when he started out, um, he had less than a hundred employees, and that's that it, he had yeah employed. that he had employed. But after the program, you can see that he has more than eight hundred and uh, employees in his that organization. More than, that's more than two hundred percent growth. Yeah, it's crazy. But he's seen a lot of growth. Um, the, especially one of the classes that really made a difference in his life was operation class, the operations class, which specifically talks about about you know entrepreneurs in the manufacturing sector how you lose money in the manufacturing line how you can be able to you know improve your efficiency and effectiveness in that area and so he was able to see a lot of changes we're also trying to help him to raise even more money to be able to grow his business so i can say that he has seen we have been very encouraged by his story because we've seen a lot of change in that another entrepreneur would probably be if you're thinking this is just for well i'm not in manufacturing yeah. we also have um Entrepreneurs in service industries like photography, if you've heard of House of Photography, they are um, an organization that basically deals with you know, photography, videography and the like. They were in fact one of our winners um, in 20, they were the winner in 2014. And uh, for photography. Yeah, for photography. And since then you've seen them get big clients including you know, a, 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 a large number of multinational companies as part of their client portfolio. 
Perhaps is there maybe a lady who has been so successful you had a fun? Yes, this the house of photography is actually a lady called wow. Sharon. Yes, yeah. Uh, so now for the two maybe and others who come to a program, mm -hmm. uh, how do you, you have a prize money that they Yes, we do. We have a one million shilling prize money. So what's the process uh, of getting the money? All right, or so claiming the prize. <laughs> the grand prize. Everybody wants to win the money. It's a motivation. Yeah, yeah. yes, it is. It definitely is. Yeah. So uh, what you do is, out of the entrepreneurs you train per year, everybody is eligible to enter into a business plan competition, which you hold once a year. And out of these people, we select between five and ten who are going to be shortlisted. So these five and ten, during one of what, an event we call the business plan competition, get to pitch live in front of judges. These judges are a mix of investors. You know, people in the entrepreneurial ecosystem and so they select one winner who walks away with the one million shillings yeah so it's a very transparent process and it's the winner takes it all winner yeah all. yes so you are maybe you are five which are listed yes number one yes the grand prize man yes what happens to the four Oh, we don't leave them hanging. So what you do is um, we fund a program called the Fast Track Fellows Program. Fast Track, Fast Fellows, Track Program. Fellows Program, yes. So this is a six-month program. And what happens is it's fully funded by Synapis. And so these people who made it to the shortlist, the top five, including the winner, they will be take them through this program. We give them access to mentors, consultants, even opportunities to get capital as well. And so this happens for a period of six months. And in that six months, you know, you have somebody who's working through with you in your business every day. Like a mentor. So yeah, it's someone who's like a mentor. If you say my problem is in sales, we get you somebody who can really assist you in the sales process. So in fact, out of the program, what I hear is that this helps people more than even the one million shillings. Because you can take the one million shillings, buy a machine or buy some land somewhere and it's over. But what you get from these six months is actually like, you know, life support. This is like life support for your business. Yeah, you know, with the classroom setting, what you have in the first four months, the mini MBA program, it's like you're the facilitator and you have the class. But with this program, it's mostly one-on-one -on -one and small group sharing. So they really get to learn a lot that changes their businesses. So does Synapis maybe buy some, buy some equity or some oh. shares in those? <laughs> no, we don't. Uh, so even the one million that you give away, it's not a loan. We'll never ask you for it back and we're not getting equity in your business. It's purely grant funding. So grant it's funding. grant funding because we believe by the time the competition is fierce, by the time you actually win it, we believe you deserve it and you're going to use it well. We've seen that at least for all the previous winners. Yes. So now for the, I wanted to mm -hmm. talk to that young person out there mm -hmm. who has this burning, burning business idea that he, he or she thinks mm -hmm. is scalable and may want to mm -hmm. come to Synapse. Mm -hmm. What can you tell them? Well, I Just look straight at the camera. Then. I'll, well, if you're that kind of an entrepreneur, I'll give you the same advice that other entrepreneurs who've gone through Synapis have said. Don't start without going to Synapis because you may end up making a lot of mistakes along the way, which you, if you had joined Synapis, you'd have avoided, you know, spending all your money on the wrong places, hiring all the wrong people. So what I'd advise you is just come to Synapis, get to learn what it takes to learn a business, get to network with other entrepreneurs in your class who can help you actually grow. And, you know, this forms your network for life and gives you also opportunities to sell your products or services to them. So I would highly encourage you, start with knowledge, invest in yourself through investing in Synapis. So that marks the end of Business Tuesday. And with me, that was Sylvia Kanano, the country manager of Synapis. Sylvia, we really appreciate you coming to Business Tuesday. Okay, thank you so much, Eddie. Enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs>